Scorpio, hello, how are you, beautiful soul? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit that truly will help all of us empaths thrive, particularly in the niche of business. He is absolutely a business genius. His information will be down below. But without further ado, let's dive right in. We have the Five of Wands, Nine of Cups, the Moon, Four of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. So understand that the contrast and conflict that's going on right now in your life is in place, excuse me, is put in place for a reason for you to help it elevate you. Utilize the energies around you right now to help reach your goals further. The more that you use the, the, um, the, the energies, the connections, the people within your life to help elevate you and move you forward instead of using them or instead of looking at your situation and, and looking at it from a egotistic separate me versus you mentality, work together, work together because this is going to evolve the both of you, you as in particular, and help you get through these shadows and help you heal whatever subconscious fears may be festering under the surface, maintaining a level of foundation and accumulating success and celebration in your life moving forward here. This is going to be a very exciting time and a lot of fast forward movement here. I feel like your life is going to progress in the next little while here, Scorpio, to immense levels. And right now, the most important thing for you to do is to just be very present and mindful in the moment and know that whenever your ego does come up, utilize it as an opportunity to heal those shadows. So whenever you feel yourself feeling defensive or upset, nervous, fearful, know that that is just an element of, 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 programming that you are overcoming my beautiful friend and that is the most important thing to re remember is that the universe is always working for you not against you for you always remind yourself of that the universe is always working for me you won't know what i'm doing right now it's a challenge this is going to evolve me this is going to help me grow because i can see here with the knight of pentacles that now is the time for you you are absolutely in the right place in your life to be able to achieve and conquer what it is that you're accomplishing and it's going to evolve you and elevate you to new levels it means that you're going to be put in a position where you're going to be in a place where you get to choose. Maybe this is traveling, maybe this is moving, maybe this is growing another business. There's gonna be something here for you, Scorpio. Now is the time to just persevere, push through, and know that you are building the, the success that you want. All of your rewards, all of the hard work that you've put in has paid off. Now, the most important thing for you to do is just remember that you are the creator. So create your life. If you're ever in an element of fear, don't look at the fear, don't feed the fear. Instead, ask that fear to step aside fear i acknowledge you understood please step aside your services are no longer needed thank you thank you thank you higher self come through right command your higher self to come through this is a very easy step and, and a very action oriented process that's going to help you just simply take the control back of your life because I can see here that the trajectory of your life is headed in exactly where you need to go with this sun card so you've got nothing to worry about again the universe is always working for you Scorpio and as long as we come from an element of trusting and understanding we're always going to be okay now I see that again there is definitely I definitely feel there's a connection here somewhere in this connection again is leading you as well to a place of uh, mm, this connection that's in your life, this person that's in your life is helping you become the best version of yourself. And whether you know it or not, this is the, 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 process of what is happening and I can see that with the four of wands right building that foundation and you're building it together and again this person is helping you overcome those shadows so again be mindful when are you reactionary when are you defensive when do you feel fear what is going on what are these emotions from really ask yourself and really be mindful of it because the universe is saying that you are ready you are ready to undertake this next this next phase in your life Scorpio and the only one that's holding you back would be yourself but you don't need to the only way that you're going to be able to have clarity and get clear answers is if you sit with yourself okay is if you really take time to figure out who you are what you want why you want these things where you want to go with your life 
Get that foundation put in place because when that happens, then you are very certain about what you want, which allows you to send off that intention to the, uh, to the universe and the universe will reward you with that desire back. But again, we have to first know what it is that we want and in order for the universe to provide and the universe's validation is with that six of wands, just validating that you are going to be successful and end up exactly where you want to go. And again, if this is a connection and you're, you're wondering if this love that's in your life, this connection that's in your life is going to elevate yes it 100 is and again the person the connection in your life you're going to go through a lot of spiritual lessons with one another so be prepared for it because spiritual lessons come with 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 you know it's it, it's own uh stuff attached but in a very positive way and you are going to end up very successful from it okay so just keep moving forward and at the end of the day understand that the universe will always instruct you with what way you need to go okay and the thing is is that we can't overthink any decisions in life we simply just have to be mindful about what is working and what is not working right and as long as we Come on, viewfinder. Well, there we have the Eight of Cups and the Two of Swords and it's not working for me. But as we see here, understand that again, if we're overthinking something, it means that there is an element of fear and we have to detach from that fear. We have to walk away from that. Again, we don't want to feed fear. We want to acknowledge it, but we don't want to give into it. Anytime, anywhere, any place, everyone feels an element of fear, no matter what they're doing in their lives. It doesn't matter if they're a, a pro and they've been doing it a while. There's a certain amount of fear every, in every uh, area of life. Okay, so understand that anytime we put an emphasis on overthinking, it's okay. It's normal, but try to bring yourself more into an element of feeling your way through it, right? What feels good and what feels, what feels good and, and what feels unnerving, what feels bad, right? Cause it's always about following our sense of good fear, a good feel, excuse me. Now is the time universe is saying to be fearless and bold. It means that face your fears. Okay. Again, ask your fears to step aside and ask your higher self to step forward. This is going to really allow you to take the control back. And that's what pig spirit is just reminding us is that use your mind wisely, right? We want to make sure that our mind is in a place of creation, not observation, right? not reacting, but creating, creating the life we want. It means that if we sense fear, we acknowledge it. Hi, fear. Nice to see you. Not, but thank you for coming. Higher self come through, right? Again, we want to command it. We want to make sure that we're in control. We're not busy in our own minds, thinking, 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 observing the fear, feeding the fear. Oh no, what if this happens? Oh no, what if that happens? Mm -mm. It's not going to help you. We got to step away from that and we got to dive into what is important. And that is about the positive vibes, where our good vibes, where our impulses are heading for are, are guiding us because sweet results await for you. B spirit is validating that. So you got nothing to worry about. And at the end of the day, remember universe is truly always working out for you. But the thing is, is that it's our own perception that takes out us away from that. Right. And we got to make sure that as long as we are always doing our parts, always putting effort and energy into what needs to be put. Like if you're in a relationship, and you want it to go really well. You want this relationship, you want this connection to expand and to grow. Well, first of all, that comes with yourself. You gotta love yourself, you gotta put it into yourself, but you also have to have awareness and insight in the relationship you're in and recognize when I act like this, my partner acts like this. And we gotta be more mindful about how we can give our partners a mutual sense of respect, a mutual sense of, of, of space so that they can be their best selves. Because if we're our best selves, we give our partners the space to be their best selves, right? Because it's an element of, of vibration. When our partner feels how good we are feeling, they want to jump on that gravy train, trust me. So it always starts from within. And I know it doesn't feel like that. I know it feels like we always have to try to please the other person, but it doesn't work like that. Please ourselves first, that other person will sense that. And then at that point, they will be ready to receive the mutual, uh, mm, the mutual agreeances of what comes next and always understand that with koala spirit it's here to remind you spirit has the plan so no matter what you always have a uh, a planned a contract of coming here having your best life enjoying the ride having fun right there's generally a purpose we come here to do and it is always influenced by what we feel in our gifts we have so focus on what experience and what gifts you have and apply those. What are you good at, Scorpio? What are you good at and what do you enjoy most? Apply that into what it is you're currently doing and everything will feel much more rewarded. And remember, always be yourself because when you are yourself, you are able to be able to think on your feet. You will be able to MacGyver this life because you are living your best life. You're aware of the situation. When you're, when you're overthinking or when you're in an element of fear and you're not really truly being your best self, and you're not really being your authentic self, I should say, then what happens is that 
we don't really trust and we don't know who we are. And then we start to habitually instill that energy. We want to make sure that you feel your best at all times. So make sure that you are taking that time to reflect. Who are you? What do you want? What do you want most? What are your intentions in this life? And understand that you can have anything you want, but it does take that level of understanding of what you want most first, and then allowing the universe to guide you there simply by releasing that fear, asking ego to step aside, higher self come through and trusting your guides and angels guidance. All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Scorpio. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.